Maina taught me that. <laughs> that's that's. I know that's what you're supposed to do in the African American <laughs> culture <laughs> when somebody says very nice poetry. Let me cook. <laughs> Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Another reason we broke up uh, is because she said very meanful shit to me, you know, very hurtful things. Like uh, the other day we were chilling and she said, uh, Aman, I don't think we have sexual chemistry. Bro, I was tongue deep in her asshole. I was like, bitch, I wish you told me earlier. Before tasting what you ate for dinner last night. Always paneer, always put eat something. Eat sushi, eat fucking. Welcome to another episode of Going Deep with Aman. Standing here right next to me is my lawyer, my my best friend. Yeah, you, you swallow that best though. John Ribia. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you, John Ribia? How are you feeling, man? Welcome to Going Deep with Aman. Uh, How do you feel about being on this incredible show? I feel good about being in this incredible show. Uh, I saw a lot of comedians being on here. It's, uh, it's legendary, man. L- legendary? Legendary. 600 views in uh, 49 days is legendary? Uh, in total or per, that's your highest episode? That's my highest episode. <laughs> Hey, at least not in total. You know, I have this analogy where I say uh, comedy is hard, but uh, failure is like three or four views. But imagine being a failure in something like porn. Damn. Like you putting everything out there like <laughs> and on- you're just getting four views. Like OnlyFan girls <laughs> Mazze, selling their nudes Mazze, for bruh. 50 cents not is bruh. buying them. <laughs> Try to give some offers. Buy one, get one free. Nobody wants. Nobody wants the free. Nobody even wants the free. <laughs> yeah. So hey, at least six hundred views. That's people you can. Thank you for to. making me feel uh, better. Yeah, yeah. Basically saying that I'm better than uh, <laughs> prostitutes. No, than a failed only fans artist. Yeah. So yeah. But that's sad, man. Yeah. How do you How do you make sure that that uh, you're a father now? Yes. I hope it never happens. But how do you make sure your child does not? I'm sure it's okay for other people, Bruh. but are you okay with your child getting into OnlyFans and stuff? Hell no, I'm not. What then do how mean? do you prevent that? By staying uh, in her life? Uh, thankfully, I have a son. What, what I say is... A lot of hugs. I, I only know, man. I love to ask the people in OnlyFans how they end up there. So let me just talk to my number Roomba and then <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I'll find out where they feel. Right? And then I'll, hey, uh, man. Uh, I, I wouldn't ever... But actually, it makes sense why OnlyFans is an industry. Yes, like, it does. Like, men, men are so horny. Like, it's literally an industry yeah. on men's horniness. It wouldn't exist if we just agreed that, <laughs> you know, this is not attractive. But Bruh. no, it's a trillion dollar industry. Trillion dollar. You know how Saudi Arabia wants this kind of Bruh. money on OnlyFans that, <laughs> <laughs> that oil is not giving. You know those videos of, uh, what's the name of that guy who asks people, what do you do for a living? Uh-huh, that TikToker. Yeah, and then some lady just go up and just say, they sell feet ah, just yeah. just just selling feet just uh, it's, uh, it's a very weird you know what we have sex sex and feet sells do you have feet that could uh, make a how if you're supposed to sell your feet how uh, uh, well, like what like feet pics problem is now i'd have to market them with my face you know <laughs> no, no 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 like in person hey man make sure you go click on my feet bruh just uh how how, how what what would be the price of your feet pics uh, I don't know, man. I have played basketball for majority of my career. My toes look like this, bro. Uh-huh. Look like they're about to do their only dance So, like again. 50 bob, 50 shillings? Less. 25? Bro, no, no, 13 bob. 13 bob. 13 I like, I like the odd number. But, hey, you got to add the VAT, bro. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's going up and up. So, you never know. It might hit the 50. I think I think my feet are at least like a 120 there. Ah, oh, bro. Because I, cause I keep them clean, man. Me, I'm into feet, so I keep mine clean too. Bro. And mine are Indian. You know, you know, Indians are good. Like, we, you know, we, we love feet, man. We have Jewish okay, feet. Okay, okay. I got to ask you, man. Ask, ask. Uh, I can understand when people say they're into gabs, boobs, face, uh, hair. Uh, Feet though. Can I tell you why? Why? This is this is not me. Oh, you're speaking on, on, on your friend's behalf. On on, uh, on, on behalf of oh, no, on research. research. Okay, okay. It it to me. <coughs> sorry, I mean to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> feet feet show feet are connected to cleanliness. Okay. Like if her feet are clean, mm-hmm. bruh, everything else will definitely be clean. 
right like if if she's keeping the path that touches the floor all the time clean mm-hmm. bro she's worried about like am i like clean girls mm-hmm. imagine ima- have you ever seen a girl with like dirty feet well, th- that's cool you can bro, use it like, to t- you can use it to test if somebody's clean it's or not but why does sleepers. why are you into that though like so, bro, so i'm telling you am i like clean girls but you're telling me you want to f- you want to be with uh, disgusting with, with like with my cheese in the armpits moldy armpits Hey uh, man, all I want to say to which is on. You like feet? Uh, why, why are you speaking like an American, bro? You never speak like this off stage. Uh, what yo, is this? Because the uh, lights are on, the camera is there. This is going to like this is going to be the man. I might get uh, 256 views. I gotta be on my you're best right, behavior. You're right. Yeah. The BJ. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about your performance today? Ah, uh, bittersweet. Uh, oh, oh. Let's start with the bad news. Why bitter? Bitter because uh, the only way you can know if a joke is good. especially a new joke is to perform it on stage right uh for the audience at home a joke is like you know that fart that you're not sure if it's a poop or not and you just mm-hmm. want to mm-hmm. sometimes a really rewarding fart sometimes yeah, yeah, you yeah, poop yeah. your pants sometimes you're, yeah. hey, oh my god that's yeah. such a interesting so to, yeah today i pooped my pants so <laughs> i i thought the jokes were funny as hell uh-huh. tried on some comedians they were dying i should have known that was a bad yeah. side went up on stage uh didn't go well yeah okay so that's the bitter part what's yeah. the sweet part Sweet part is I committed because thing is uh, the same way I've done this for four or five years so I have jokes that always work. Mm-hmm. So if you like go back to jokes uh, Jumbo yeah I hit them with the Jumbo to begin with Jumbo is like I got yeah, 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 like, I got I got some classics in there. Bro you know it's funny just before you got on stage you're <laughs> like I'm not going to say I'm going to say Jumbo the thing is I, I saw the first white, word out of Ribia's mouth I saw the white people I was like Jumbo. I, I, I got to do it I got to do it <laughs> So that's the sweet thing that you So the sweet thing the sweet thing is I committed because the thing is when you're in the middle of your set yeah 5 minutes it's not going well you can always stop and go to something that's doing well and uh that's like copping out because the uh, thing is it feels way better to have something that new do well than have uh something that uh, Hello Hello George Hello you, George you You want to join Always always man Thank always. you Ribia for joining I think we had in Oh my gosh that, that's what it took to to bomb me this just Oh my god we Oh my no nah, man no nah, man What are you get what 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 are you get This is the first two grips of 2023 yeah. and we have our host of the evening George Oyer first of all very good job Oh thanks man I think you did a good job at hosting today you kept the energy up oh. How do you feel about your your show about performing today man Dude um uh, I've always been a hack comedian obviously. Thank you. Thank yeah, you for you, admitting. You know this. I didn't want to say it, <laughs> but thank you for mentioning. Thank you for backing me up. But like I'm saying uh, at hosting, I really tonight I try to just come in with the energy of like I'm just going to kill it. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fun. And like as opposed to previously I came in anxious, oh my god, I need to have this down, I need to have this down. So I just told myself, no, don't go in there with any written stuff. try to just you know freestyle it i like it takes a lot of like bravery to like yes. like to just say okay i'm not going with a safety net i'm just going to do any joke that comes into my mind i see you're brave fuck fireman i mean that's the <laughs> <laughs> joke but yeah <laughs> you're like a, yeah you're brave yeah. like in your own way like in true, your own true. art i i i like i know cuz i'm scared to even do attempt that but sometimes i do when when it's not a very high pressure show like maybe at like mayura but it's not high pressure as two grips no two grips a lot of pressure like celebrities come yeah. here and stuff yeah and sometimes unfortunately or fortunately yeah like mamito is here Yay! every time <laughs> you were giving shout out to some guy i forgot the person i think uh it was uh what do you call them anyway. that was joji yes, yes i love joji man you see yeah. you see so here there's a pressure shout out joji durango yeah gang gang yeah Uh so that's what I'm saying that's how that's the place I do it uh, but uh, props okay. on you for trying it on such a high pressure but it's hosting it's different from like trying out new like shout out to Ribia mm-hmm. I know we talk shit about Ribia any chance we get yeah. which is like yeah. the whole thing but like he's the only guy cuz I was hosting who did almost all new ah. brand new material and he's behind the camera so he's really you enjoying so? this you think so didn't he just start with Jumbo yeah i mean he started with that and yeah. then the All Everything else is new. new. Props on him. I wasn't yeah. paying attention. Did you do any of I wasn't yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, I, I did uh, the thing is uh, so I have jokes but I didn't know where to put them like like just one liners but I didn't know where they fit. Ah. And now I think I have a bit about going through a breakup where all of this fits together. And within that I find uh, new jokes obviously like uh, differences between rich mundis and poor mundis I think that's one joke I'm developing uh, as we speak like with the bar thing mm, I like that kills Cindy yeah uh and uh, now I think it's also time for me to offload a lot of breakup stuff 
Mm. So uh, like I've been Dude, doing. Can I ask just as his friend, like, sure. what's going on? Are you? Is it just a bit? I mean, that's. I w- I don't you know it's 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 like being inspired. Sometimes you get into a uh, argument with your girlfriend, and you're like, "Fuck, I have this like I'm feeling these emotions, and I want to make them funny, so I'm just gonna write this material." Yeah, but yeah. not break up. You just don't look at your girl and go, "Damn, what should I write to inspire me?" Let's just break up, cheating yeah, I, things. I, I, Maybe I inspired me to write this cheating bit. Uh, this eight minute cheating bit on. Hey man, I like yeah. I like to take it to the next level. Even when when I'm uh, angry with him, I'm like you know, bitch, I could cheat on you right now. <laughs> uh, do you know how cool I am sometimes uh, at Wednesdays Trust only? Me, yeah. Bro, you're lucky with a with significant me. number of people. Just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. Like two Bro, people. Trust me, yeah. Two of them are minor in different dresses. <laughs> and a jacket, a new jacket. Yeah. Do, what, do you? Uh, I don't even know what to say. But 2023, how do you feel about the comedy industry, man? Man. Comedy industry, <laughs> dude. What is this? I mean, like, are you say you think about class it, or something? You, you, uh, as much industry. as uh, in, as much as it's funny, it's small, but it's technically it is uh, legitimacy through Showmax. Mm-hmm. That's uh, like the biggest streaming platform in Africa. Second, yeah, but I'm saying like I don't care about the industry. It's uh-huh. more about just me and wow. Okay, it's more about dude. My Namurumba stealing every time like this guy is not anyway uh-huh sorry what industry you were saying something about industry yeah like uh it's like i don't care about it's not like i don't care i really don't pay attention to like what the industry now i'm more focused on me uh-huh. what to like do you know just not the bigger picture in my terms personally that's what i'm aiming for well that's uh, that's, uh, oh, that's what you're asking i mean if that's what you feel like answering i'm not gonna force you to but this is what i feel I feel like uh, in this year we're going to have more like comedy clubs, you know, uh, that's what I hope because uh, I don't want to take the responsibility of uh, running a club, you know how it is running a room. <laughs> then how do you know there'll be more if you don't I want to Because do uh, it's just general growth. I know I'm not ah. motivated, I can see other comedians are motivated. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. ca- I can make and read the room, bro. That's uh, yeah, yeah you're good job. at that, ass, yeah. So let them do ha- all the hard work, I just come there to 15 minutes and bounce, mm. become the greatest stand-up comedian Kenya's ever produced. Spoken like a true Aston Villa fan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. You know who got me into football? Yeah. Uh, what's this uh, Norwegian kid? Haaland. Yeah. Like this right guy, on. I just saw highlights of him touching the ball and the. Mm. Ball and you touched him. yourself. <laughs> That's a cut. We'll be back, guys, uh, with more. Thank you, f- George. By the way, before we leave, what happened to Laugh Life? Bro, you haven't uploaded an episode in a while. Yeah, bro, I've been busy with a few projects. Hopefully, you'll see them soon. I have a movie coming out. It's a short film. Uh, we wrote and starred in it. So, me, Shiko Waitaka, and Justine Wanda. Damn. So, check us out. It's coming out probably uh, late this January. It will be out. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Is this uh, Going Deep with Amon exclusive release? Hey! You had it here first, man. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, George. Cheers, man. I love you. Love you, bro. Give me a kiss. We're back to Going Deep with Amon with our first musical guest ever making a third appearance. Maybe even more. I, I have lost count. David Masharia, all the way from Hawaii. How's the island? Hey, how's it going? How are you, David Masharia? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, it is January 11th. Uh-huh. We're at Two Grips. Yes. We just had the first open mic of the year. Uh huh. We're chilling. We're chilling, man. So I think you know things are going well. I, I wish, we had more shows. Dude, it's such a simple wish, but it's my only wish. Okay. We need more shows. We are like like paid shows. You mean or like yeah. open mics? Open mics. Paid shows, like a mix of everything. Yeah. So right now we have, I think, one open mic a week, and I think Move is coming back next month. Okay. We used to have, I guess, just like background information. We used to have open mics Tuesday to Friday. Tuesday is a number seven, which that might be coming back soon. Wednesdays we have here, and now Move is going to come back next week. Thursdays we used to have a mic at Mayura. Uh huh. What? But like. If you can't see my hand, I can just keep pointing. It's okay. Continue. I can just, this guy doesn't know okay, okay, gestures. Okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, we just Conflict had an interruption. Conflict resolution. Let's, let's move on. We just had an interruption by a very unprofessional. Everybody. Sorry. It's okay. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Your job <laughs> is fine, Brian. Your job is fine. Yes. Yeah, so, and then Friday's at Wama, which I think we might get a new room for Wama. So yeah. I think we're, we soon we might be at a spot where we have four open mics a week. Maybe like early Feb. 
or late mid feb i don't know but paid shows i think those ones need to come back more than yeah, yeah. anything because that's how we make money yeah, yeah we have i guess you have um the mamito and the manual show at, on the 3rd of february if this is going to be out by then yeah i think so I, i'll have to check the poster okay and, so, uh, yeah. and then February 14th, we might have something. So oh, we yes. already have, we have two lined up for February. February. Um, but that's February, and that's only like a you know limited amount of comedians who perform and actually get paid. You know, there's guest spots, but only niggas on the posters get paid. Y you're right. You're right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just agreeing with you and breaking it down in a very boring it's, way. It's I mean, hey man, this is literally like a discussion on comedy. If okay. You can, okay. The more people know about the back side of comedy, I think they'll appreciate our art more. Okay. Yeah. Is that too pretentious? I, I don't felt, know. I felt. Like I can't tell. I can't tell what like non. Like people who aren't interested in what we were talking about, yeah. I can't tell if like they would enjoy this or not. Because like I feel like when I watch comedy podcasts, I like it when they start talking about comedy and everything else they talk about. Like, oh, I was at the grocery store. I was at this, this. I'm like, get to the important shit. But there, but there are people who like that. Stuff. Exactly, so, that's the thing. So yeah. I can't tell if they would like yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, I don't know, man. I'm I'm happy that I've only done three shows so far. <laughs> I I hate it. I'm not actually happy. I hate the fact that I've done only three shows for the first 11 days in January. You've done three shows? Just this three. Year? Yeah, so far. So what, far. what shows did you do before this? So uh, on the 10th, uh, I know the 10th, like in the beginning of the month, uh -huh. I had like a wedding. And then Saturday, I bullet just uh, the widely show. Oh, that was this year. Shit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, today. Oh. <laughs> Check yes, we're overanalyzing ourselves, but forgetting what we're talking about, where we are. <laughs> but, but but the point I'm trying to make is that I'm actually very envious and jealous of comedians who are in a place where comedy is actually thriving. Like they can do it, five yeah. spots a day, bro. Yeah. A day, like I'm 11 days behind just in January. I know, I know. Like I feel the I'm, same way. That's why I feel like Kenyan Kenyan comedians. I feel like we do have the potential to yeah. be like one of the greatest like mouthpieces ever. Mm -hmm. We just we just. We just don't have the, but that's our challenge, right? I agree. Um, I think, yeah, I guess we have like to overcome, man. It's annoying that then the sh the responsibilities of, I guess, curating and finding rooms where we can perform at is on us, because I guess that also takes away. Well, I guess I know it takes away from like time that you would want to spend working on jokes or performing live, and it's I guess it just eats into your own comedy time, but it does something for the scene, which I guess needs to be done. And yeah. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but you know what? As as uh, 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 what do you say? Pessimistic I am about that. I think I'm also optimistic about the idea that that's our problem and we have to overcome. Like oh, we yeah. have to figure out how to become great with just doing three shows in eleven days. I that's agree. that's our and I feel like we can, but yeah. we'll need a bit more time. It's gonna happen. I definitely something I would want to do. I think would help. I guess like on a individual level is like if you you know travel to these places where you can perform I, multiple I, times a night. Uh huh. We don't need visas to go to South Africa. Uh, uh, that's, that's what I was about to ask. Yeah. Do you think uh, you want to travel now? Yes, I would love to. I just gotta get my passport. You don't have a passport? I have a passport. Bro, it's your accent. You can't get an accent like this <laughs> without, without a, a passport. No, you can. Do, do. do you know Marcus? <laughs> you can, you can, uh, this is achievable without a passport. But there's a difference. You can, you can tell. A you can tell a difference. Yeah. Yeah. There's like. Uh, this is like a Botswana foreign, not not a UK <laughs> foreign. By the way, just letting you know, Namibia. Ever been to any of those countries? But I, my passport's been expired for like I think three years, and I'm just, I'm just bad at being a person, so I haven't gotten every nudie yet. So I've just been, I guess, landlocked. I know what I don't. Actually, that's me. not true. I traveled outside the country without a passport once, and I can't get into that really. We, we, tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, would you? I just I went to I mean, went to Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> So this guy crossed the road and he's talking. He's speaking so secretively. I don't fucking. <laughs> this guy is an who they don't even care, bro. They're no, no. illegal immigrants from you guys, Kenya. You've, you've been so serious this episode. You can't recognize a joke. I was hoping Fuck. you were serious, man. I was Jesus really Christ! Hoping. But actually, do you, know, do you know what happened to me? Come closer. Come closer, baby. You know what happened to me? Tell me. This guy's caressing me. What? I um. Today I was at our cafe. And I was standing, you know, like in line with the behind the thing with the cakes. And I was this guy was in line with me. Why are you laughing? Is, uh, like you in art cafe. That was an art cafe. It's just hilarious. You, you, just David Mashai. I went to get art cafe. I went to get. 
I want to get a cappuccino. But um, <laughs> <laughs> cappuccino. So I'm I'm at our cafe. I'm in line, and then this guy, he's standing next to me. We start talking, and he tells me his name is Gabriel. Uh huh. Like from the Bible. So, he says his name is Gabriel. That he was named after the angel Gabriel. Uh huh. He says his name is Gabriel. He says he was named after the angel Gabriel. So now I'm wondering, because you know, the way he said Gabriel, I was like, you know, I assumed or like I felt like he knows how to pronounce the name Gabriel. But then what he told me is. He was named after the angel Gabriel, but he calls the angel Gabriel Gabriel because you can't say Gabriel without saying gay. And <laughs> he doesn't want to call an angel gay because that's bad for Christianity. Oh my god. <laughs> this is, I promise this is what he told me. I'm like But that uh, that that only works in the English language. We were speaking English. I mean for like uh, that means a uh, 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 a Russian can be called Gabriel because to them gays are not called gays, you know, they're called something like Buskini Busku. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Can't look for a Russian name for gay people that's not gay. Yeah, you're not gonna just like guess it. I thought I thought <laughs> I, I thought it'd be funny if I tried, but if there's any Russians watching, please tell them <laughs> how incorrect. Bro, they're hardly Nairobians. Bench other will find Russians. How incorrect he is. How do you feel about 2023? Dude, what I just got here. <laughs> what are you talking about? Thanks. I don't know. It's what is it? It's the 11th. Yeah, but like, um, do you do you have any like vision board things? I'm actually supposed to make vision boards with Wongo and Mamito. Uh huh. But uh, I'm I'm doing Yay! it. Yay! Uh, Sorry. I'm making vision boards with Wongo and Mamito, and I'm doing it with them because I need supervision. Because I, I mentioned to one of them that I wanted to put like a list of all my crushes on my vision board. I, I told Wongo, and Wongo said that was a bad idea to put all a your? person, my crushes, oh. on my vision board. All she, of them. How let's let's what's what do you think the number is? Double digits? Seven? I don't know, dude. I don't want to think about that right now. Damn, this guy is a player. Because that's not crushes. Oh. Oh, so you're just a guy, I guess, yeah. Never oh, mind. A person. What the fuck? I take away the Playboy yeah, I retract. Um I see retract. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the word, man. Sorry. Um I knew what you meant. But what are we talking about? Girls. Was I have Your I been vision out, board. no we're talking about 2023 yeah. and my vision board um yeah I haven't made one yet but I know what I want on it I know some of what I want I really want a new guitar oh by the way I yeah. have I have like real shit that I I mean I that I should be putting up but like here's I really want a new guitar I want a Les Paul Gibson guitar which those can be very expensive mm -hmm. like um, how expensive like the type I want could be like twelve hundred dollars which Pencho, you're giving me the price in dollars I for, there's so like um, millions in Kenya shillings man no it's not is it 12, 12 how much is that in Kenya shillings 1200 yeah how oh that's that's how much is 1200 uh, dollars 100 and yeah 100 and 150 yeah million no a, a thousand sorry I thought you told me 12,000 because you said you said million I, co I thought he's I thought he said 12 Thousands. This guy hasn't been listening to me. I'm at sorry. All. I'm sorry. Uh huh. So, why? Is this footage going to be usable? I don't <laughs> care, man. I'm I'm actually very interested in the guitar thing. Yeah. Do you think Do you think he'll be one of those comedians like who'll come on the guitar and do like jokes? Why no. do, Why do you? I mean, okay, maybe I shouldn't have said no. Like I know it. Like right now, in the near future, probably not. I have no. He was showing us the. He was showing us. Brian was showing us the forks. Was yeah. it forks? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh huh. Um, <laughs> it's an inside joke. Never mind. Continue, please. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, it's it's a nice guitar. What, what was he talking about? I got distracted by Brian's terrible joke. I forgot what I asked. Yeah. Um, what are we, dude? This is gonna be the slowest episode. Wait, wait, wait. It's ten minutes. No, it's oh yeah, with the, a comedian who does guitar on stage. Maybe like if I if I ever think I need to do that or if I ever feel like wanting to do that, but right now I just don't. I feel like I feel like the the spot I'm I'm at with comedy, like I have way more things I need to figure out before I can be like, oh no, let me incorporate a guitar into this. It's like an it's like a extra thing, mm -hmm. you know. I still got to figure out better act out jokes, basically, right? Every like yeah. writing, get better at writing. I wouldn't want to like have to then. Be at this level, but then the guitar takes it to a different level. But I'm relying on the guitar. Uh, 
But that's that's like a more serious answer. I just really I just don't want to do that, and it doesn't even look cool to me. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Like every if you ever think of ever doing that, just know I'm gonna be at the back. Just move. Boo! That's gonna be me. Um, if you do guitar on stage, I'll be the first one to boo. Adam Sandler. As a true Ad- friend. Adam Sandler does that. Because C- he's Adam Sandler. Nick Thune does that. Yeah. Bob Saget used to do that. Good, good for them. It was Bob Saget's death anniversary, I think. No. Yeah, death and no. One year, either his birthday or his death anniversary. I mean, it's a, it's the middle of the year somewhere. I okay, put it up. I so don't. You guys heard of Chinese New Year and shit. <laughs> 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 but anyway. I think this could be the end of this conversation. Yeah, no, dude, Ribia, David, Ribia's fallen asleep behind the camera. He's the only person I can, I know that can fall asleep standing up. Like a horse. What? What is it? It's It was his death anniversary one. January. I don't know why he argues with me. <laughs> this guy knows his, this guy knows his dead comedian it, facts. Yeah, bro. Fuck. When did uh, Richard Pryor die? Ah, that one I don't know. Sorry. On his death day. You know, you know, Norm has a joke about. Was it, is it Norm? I don't know who has this joke about. No, I think it was in the office. Uh, Michael Scott goes. I never understood the concept of a deathbed. Like, why would you buy that? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite it's Michael Scott shit. joke is that he, everybody's just chilling in the office. He comes, bankruptcy. <laughs> I declare bankruptcy. <laughs> I declare bankruptcy. Bro, I paused. I, I laughed so, for yeah. like five minutes. I'm like, this is the kind of writing. I want to oh do, yeah, hell yeah. but I don't know how to unlock my brain. Maybe it takes time. It takes yeah, a lot of time. I mean, like shows like that. I guess there's like a whole writer's room. Yeah, yeah. It's not just like one person's thoughts. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is, I guess, different from what we do. But, but, but it's still good writing. But didn't Ricky Gervais write like the British version just on his own? I have no idea about that. I think that's. I think that's what happened. I've never seen. I think I've seen like five minutes of the first the episode British of one. the British Office. Yeah, everybody argues that the American one is better. I mean, that's the British one was like what four eight episodes uh, yeah 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 there's a reason one went on for longer than the other right yeah, yeah i wasn't right. even joking i'm just yeah, like right. yeah, right. yeah 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 and so that's good reviews i mean of course it's like one of those uh the original is always better kind of argument yeah. right yeah it's, it's just like come on dude. but i like the american one man yeah i, re- I relate so much to dwight like like he's just trying to do his job and everybody well, he's can. not he get dwight does a lot of fuck shit yeah uh, he's the, he's he's a sneaky motherfucker. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that's the opposite of what you just said. Bro, that's me, bro. I'm so sneaky. You don't even know I'm sneaky, bro. Yeah, I don't know about sneaky. yeah any of your sneaky links. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I've been to your live shows. You said that shit was lit, but that was a lie though. Took me less than a minute to get a drink from the bar. That shit was wild, yo. Tell me how you got more niggas in the band than niggas in the stands. <laughs> Minor taught me that. That's that's. I know that's what you're supposed to do in the African American <laughs> culture <laughs> when somebody says very nice poetry. Let me cook. <laughs> Let him cook. All right, David Fuck. Macharia, thank you so much for dropping oh, Are you doing bars. any more interviews? Or? Not interviews. These are just me having trying to have conversations, and I they just become questions. Anyway. No, no I'm saying you're going to talk to anyone else. Or I think we're done, yeah. Okay, cool. We've got too much content today.